<coughs> so putting cars back on, uh, got a list here. First off, make sure all your clamps are on. The clamps between the carburetors and the intake holes. You don't want to spend an hour putting your cars back on. <laughs> Especially fighting to get the clamps to get the carbs on the motor and all the other BS and find out your clamp one of your clamps are missing. Uh, sometimes you can bend the clamps back on, you take the bolt out and you bend the clamp and get it back in there. A lot of times you can't. So make sure your clamps are there and they're loose. Uh, then I put the throttle cables on. While the carbs are off the motor, that's a real good idea. I mark the the push cable. If it has a push and pull, uh, the pull cable pulls the the carburetor open, and they have a push cable on to. I guess even though it's a force, I don't know what the push cable really does. You can take it off, and it still works. I guess maybe you have a lighter spring <coughs> on your throttle return. So I mark the push cable. I set a piece of tape on it. And I can take a marker and I mark the bracket that it bolts into. That way you don't uh, put your cables on backwards. And worse yet, put your carburetors back on with the cables on backwards. Uh, don't do the throttle slack until both cables are on. So if you put put your pull cable on first and then set the slack, uh, once you put your push cable on, uh, your slack will be all wrong. Your cable will probably be very, your throttle will be tight with no slack at all. No slack at the twist grip. Uh, your twist grip should have a slight amount of play. This one has a little bit too much. Should have like this much. There's too much slack. It seems dangerous to me when riding a motorcycle. So you want just a hair so you know that your uh, carburetors aren't being opened by your twist throttle just by having, it, having the cables too tight. So just a hair, hair of slack. Uh, this can also be adjustable underneath the twist throttle housing. And your pull cable should be adjusted. Take out the slack. Uh, position the carbs next to your intake holes and then put your fuel line on if you have a fuel pump. That's easier that way. Uh, this one it's very tight to get the, the fuel pump hose that connects to the carburetor. It's real hard so it's easier when the carbs aren't on the engine. Uh, start the carbs evenly into the intake holes and put rags down to protect your hands so you don't hurt your hands. Uh, if they won't go in, you can usually get the first carb started. That's this one. You usually get that one in the hole. And then, uh, using your own judgment, put paper towel in the intake holes and you can stomp the carburetors in. That means go like this. But you use your own discretion. It's your machine. If you break it, that's your fault. Uh, tighten all the clamps. You want to use a long screwdriver. Uh, if you didn't didn't know, uh, the longer a screwdriver, the more leverage it has. Plus, it's of course it's easier. To reach the inside clamps. Uh, installing the the choke cable. 
So here's the choke on this. You want to back your choke off so it's not on. This is all the way off. This is all the way on. So it's all the way off. Uh, here's my choke arm. You want it so it's all the way back so it's not engaged at all. And you put your cable in. Here's the cable adjuster. So now your choke is completely off. There's no tension on it. Put your cable in, you tighten the screw. I put my choke on last because it didn't get in the way and it's just awkward. With just the two cables on, it's not so bad, but with the choke on, it's a little awkward. So I do that last. Pull your paper towel out if it's in there. You're ready to rock and roll. Okay, good luck. Have fun.